today also some very mystical thing happened. Because just in the moment when I was uh, preparing for this verse, then also Labanga Latika called and gave a message and she, uh, we came into an exchange about the Kama Yantra, about Srimati Radhika's Tilak. Na, you see, Labanga Latika, that's why I put this Tilak today. <laughs> because you inspire me so much. You, you give me this very nice meditation. And it's all happening by Gurudev's mercy. Really, it is. So, thank you all for coming. And Jai Gurudev, I hope also you will give us your dasha. So this is a very beautiful verse. It's verse 47. And fallen Narottam Das sings. This is the translation. Each of their limbs, Jai Gurudev, is decorated with jeweled ornaments. Each of their limbs is decorated with jewel uh, ornaments. You know why these ladies in India, they always put the bangles? Because this is such an auspicious sound. When you are doing all your household duties, you always remember the nupur, the ankle belts of Srimati Radhika and her activities. So it is very auspicious to hear these bangles. And what to talk about, you know, seeing uh, Radha Mohan's ornamentations, which are described here. Naratam Das sings, each of their limbs is decorated with jeweled ornaments, just as actors are decorated. I sing their glories day and night, and thus I get topmost bliss. This is the desire on my mind. So, Shilatako Mahashai describes the jeweled ornaments, Baba says, this is Baba's commentary, of the Yuga Lakishore as he attained it in his transcendental vision. And then he submits his own aspiration to the foot souls. So we, we get the mercy by hearing this. Why? Because Nara Tamdas Thakur in his meditation, in his smaran, in his singing, he sees the jeweled ornaments of Swamini and of Mohan also because he's speaking about Yoga Lakusho. First, he speaks of their jeweled ornaments. Abharana Moni Moi. Abharana means the decoration. And Moni Moi means many jewels, different kind of jewels. Moni is a jewel. And Moi, I think it's a transcendental uh, description of the jewels on their bodies. These are jewels not from this world. These are jewels of love of their feelings for each other, how they express their love and how they are inspired by their love, by the jewels that they are uh, wearing. In Naratam Das Thakur is singing, each of their limbs is decorated with jeweled ornaments. Shri Yuga Lakishore is not only decorated with many different ornaments of ecstasy, like goosebumps or tears, smiles, hair standing on end, but their limbs are also decorated with different actual ornaments. Shimati has the very beautiful earrings and Tulasi Mandari has put them on. And we read this in our Vilapa Kusmanjali. It is like every verse is describing how she puts on the ornamentations on Swamini. And what they mean. What does it mean to decorate our Swamini? What is the feeling behind that? And how is she doing it to make Swamini happy? 
On Sri Krishna's body is the great gem called Stupa. And Sri Radharani's body is permanently beautified by the greatless, greatly luminous Shyamantu Taka jewel. So these jewels, they also are very compatible. All of the jewels, they tell a story. Like Shimati Radhika got this Shamantaka jewel from Krishna. But he, she got it through different, different hidden ways. She got it uh, by uh, Supa or Madhumangal. One of the Gopas who are close to her gave it to her in the name of Mohan. And he is telling her like this, you are my jewel. You are in my heart day and night. So, Swamini also puts on her jewels in that mood. This morning we were exchanging about her Kama Yantra, Gurudev. The Kama Yantra is so beautiful because whenever Mohan sees that dot of mask and Aguru with a lotus in the middle, and in the middle of that lotus, there's a dot also made of sandalwood. It all reminds uh, Shimati Radhika of Mohan. And that's why Tulsi puts it there, to remind Swamini of Mohan, of Sham. Because the, the dot has his color and his smell. And by this color and this smell, it is another kind of meeting or it's another kind of memory. Oh, how it was when you meet the last time, when you met and how was the feeling? What was he saying to you? And while Tuts is putting this dot, she's also sometimes speaking the pastime to Swamini to make her happy. So that is the feeling that Naratam Das Thakur is helping us. Jai Goda! Jai Katarina! Jai to all of you, my Yoga Shakti, go on. So while doing ornamentation, for us also, it can be an inspiration to remember Swamini. How, you know, she is always beautifully decorated. And the decorations are not only the bangles, but the feelings that the mandris put when they put the bangles on, when they put the earrings on, and the feelings, and also telling how it was. Because these uh, Gurudev often explain all the ornaments that they put on Swamini are her beloved. Because in the spiritual world, there is no difference between the the things and and their owner or their or their you know energy so for us also as the ones who try to serve swamini when we hear the bangles we also hear swamini's nupurs her you know ankle bells we make sounds and these sounds they they remind us because all our senses they are becoming uh, spiritualized by the process of remembering. It is also in our human lifetime like that. We have heard sound, we have heard, uh, had a smell, we had any vision, any memory. And when something comes of that, immediately we have the picture, right? These are some skaras. They are called the impressions of the heart. And now in our spiritual life, we want to make uh, spiritual samskaras. We want to create the conscious uh, feelings and moods and memories that will connect me to the divine realm of divine love. And that is possible by hearing about the you know, self-realized souls like Naratam Dastakur, who has already the visions. And his visions and his feelings, if I repeat them, oh my God, it gives a lot of benefit. So we are lucky that Gurudev gives us this chance 
that we can repeat, we can uh, sing, we can hear, we can listen, we can like La Banga Latica paint, and all these things we do with our, our senses of our human existence, but they become spiritualized like that. They get another feeling. And that is the goal of our life. We want to get the feeling of spiritual existence. We want to realize, who am I forever? And that is the bliss that gives also more thirst for service, more thirst to have more realizations and more services. Because with every service that we do, some new realization comes. Like yesterday, Gurudev and Gorasunna were sharing with me that they were reading from Vilapa Kushmanjali, verse 85. And that verse gave new realizations to Gurudev. Listening after so many, many, many times, Gurudev was so happy to share also that when Radha and Krishna become one, they are Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, right? And they also, in this oneness, they feel each other. And not only they feel each other like Krishna wants to feel, Shemati Radhika, but also they exchange their positions. Like we know that Krishna wants to feel Shemati Radhika. And like this, he also becomes Shemati Radhika. Like in Gambira, he has all these feelings that Shemati Radhika has. But also Shemati Radhika is also becoming Krishna. She is taking the guidance. She is his guru. So they are experiencing each other's feelings, each other's uh, services, and each other's love in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that is the ornamentation of their bodies or of Gauranga Mahaprabhu's body. He was shining so golden. That shining only of his transcendental body is uh, the mercy of Srimati Radhika shining on Mohan's body. So, although Mahaprabhu was feeling the separation of Srimati Radhika from Mohan, at the same time, he also feels the meeting. Because the meeting and the separation is just some ongoing waves of love to increase their feelings and their attachments and their desires. And the manjaris, they all help in that. They are the servants of that divine ecstatic love. So on Krishna's body is the great gem Kaustuba. And Sri Radharani's body is permanently beautified by the great luminous Sherman Takai jewel. On top of that, Mother Yashomati, Mother Yashoda, decorates Sri Krishna's limbs with different jeweled ornaments. And the Sakis and Mandris also decorate Sri Radharani's beautiful body with different jeweled ornaments. So they have all of them, their personal, individual love. Mother Yashoda loves her little Gopal so much. She's giving him also protection. She says, bind this uh, rope around your belly. It will protect you from all the demons in the forest. That is her love, motherly love. And Krishna is accepting that. So the divine couple, Radha Mohan, Radha Madhava, they are ornamented by love only. And the Sakis and Mandris also decorate Srimati Radhika's beautiful body with different jeweled ornaments. And these ornaments, they are also expressions of their love, how they choose them and what they are telling when they put them on. And it's all making Srimati Radhika feel that now they are putting Mohan on me. 
because Krishna is the jewel of her heart and she sees nothing and she feels nothing but him. So whenever they put all the ornaments, that is a meeting between Radha and Moha. And then again, when Sri Yugala Kishore are performing different pastimes within the Nikunja Mandir, then also they decorate their limbs with different jeweled ornaments. So you see, sometimes when Srimati Radhika goes on Abhisar on the meeting, she has to run through the forest and all her ornaments become too heavy. She wants to be free of them and she's running fast. And then she arrives at the kunj, and there again she gets new ornaments. She is decorated by flower garlands, by flower earrings. And they put also bangles from flowers, many, many kinds of flower ornaments the mandaris have arranged. And all these flowers, they have a beautiful smell. They have different, different colors. And in these flower garments, garlands, they have also uh, put in their feelings. When they put them, when they arrange them and they do them, then the flower garlands, they are not only, you know, flower garments. They are expressions of love and feelings. And the mantras say, may you be victorious, Swamini. May your love conquer your Mohan. We always want to see you as our Jai Shi, Jai Shi Radhi, the victorious one in the battle of love. Just as the bodies and actors of actors and actresses are decorated with different dresses and ornaments, similarly, each of the Yugala's limbs are always beautified by different wonderful garments and ornaments. In a transcendental vision, Thako Mahashai Narottamdas Thakur describes the sweetness of the Yugala and submits to their lotus feet. Nishi Dishi Guno Gai Parama Ananda Pai Monamora E Avilas I sing their glories day and night and thus get topmost bliss. Because Baba says in one other commentary, whatever falls into an ocean of nectar becomes nectar. So by singing about that or hearing and reading about that, also this bliss, which is already a part of, you know, them, it is their bliss, right? But it's becoming transferred into our hearts. And this bliss, Baba is asking later on, is it that we are, you know, making a deal, oh, I hear about you and then I get bliss? No, it is a natural ingredient of hearing about this divine love and about this wonderful, wonderful deep meanings of everything they do, they say, and especially what the mandaris do, and what, how they decorate Swamini, because this is our goal. We also want to decorate Swamini one day in our transcendental visions. We want to also have a connection to that right now. And we can meditate about it. Even though I'm still in my material body, but Shigurudev gave us this, you know, firm, Hope that you are Shimati Radhika's Dasi. I have recommended you. So don't think this is only like a dream or like, like a nice, uh, what do you say, fat, fatasmagoria fantasy. No, it is a reality, but I have not 108% realized it. But step by step, slowly but surely, it will become more present in our lives. And that's why these ornamentation uh, lilas, I like them very much. 
before I was ornamenting my body because I think, oh, this body has to look nice for my husband or for Radha Mohan. But now I ornament this body because I hope that I can get some prashad from Srimati Radhika's ornamentation. And this is the prashad. Today we are hearing Narottam Das Thakur, and this is his transcendental divine remnants of doing ornamentations for Radha and Krishna. And so he's singing glories, and that is his decoration, right? He's doing it because he knows it will make them happy. They are listening. And I get also, you know, a very happy mood because it is a transcendental sound vibration. And this vibration will come more and more into all of my existence. And slowly and surely, when I get into my spiritual self, Abhiman means my identity of my Dasi feelings. This will vibrate inside the whole day long and again and again. Even if I lose it, it will be there and it will make the life so much more bright and it will make everyone more happy. Myself, my friends, my family and especially also my Gurudev. Because maybe I cannot see Radha Mohan right now, but my Gurudev is there. I want to also make him happy. I want to, you know, talk to him about Srimati Radhika and what services I could do and what he feels is my service. I want to know all of this so I can develop my spiritual identity. I need to know this. I need to hear about this and meditate every day as much as possible. And this is not only by the books, because like when we are going through the day and we have heard something, some nice kata, some nice kirtan, it is vibrating in my heart. The melody will resound. That is the, the result of smaran. No? Right? Labanga Latika. This morning we, we were t discussing the smaran of Shimate Radhika's tilak. And she gave me the nice hint in the Vilap Kushmanjali. What is the meaning of this tilak? It's not like our tilak when we show we are the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. That is something uh, quite external. <laughs> Actually, tilak is a meeting point. When Radha and Mohan meet, and I want my forehead, my good fortune, my consciousness, my lucky self, to always meditate about their meeting and how I can be of any assistance, how I can help them, how I can help Srimati Radhika. Through my, you know, Guru Manjari, first of all. But one day, she will introduce me. She has promised that. She has accepted me. She has accepted me. So, the Supreme Person is all blissful and all delicious. And other statements like Rasavai Saha, show the blissful status of the Supreme Person. The holy names, forms, attributes and pastimes of the Lord are all manifest, full of taste and bliss. So these sound vibrations of the names and the Lords and our Goddesses, uh, songs and forms and dresses and ornamentations, they are in themselves already fully, fully blissful in themselves because they are such it ananda. They are, you know, Mahabhav and Rasavaisaha combined. <laughs> and to remember that, 
It's our daily um, sadhana only. So Mahashai Naratam reveals his own aspirations to the lotus feet of his dear most Sri Sri Radha Madhava's lotus feet. May he be able to sing the glories day and night, inside and outside. May it vibrate. You know, it may be like a song we have heard that we like, like my sweet Lord. I was just remembering uh, almost 30 years ago, no, 20 years ago, then we were singing uh, with uh, Boy George on the stage, My Sweet Lord. And you know that song by George Harrison, it became such a, you know, how do you say, Ohrwurm. That's something you hear and you don't forget it. It always vibrates in your, in your consciousness. No? And that was in the 70s and I was a young girl and I always was thinking, what is the meaning of this Hare Krishna in that song? Because he was singing My Sweet Lord and he was singing Hare Krishna. And I love this song so much. But I don't know why I love this song so much. But I was singing and singing and singing and singing. And I think this is maybe where I was getting my first Sukritis, my first good fortune in my life. Chanting with the George Harrison, My Sweet Lord. And that was, you know, already it has, you see, now I'm still chanting the names of our sweet God, Lord and Goddess. <laughs> so this has a power, this My Sweet Lord song of George Harrison. And we all knew it from our old days. And even now it's popular. So this is how it works. When we sing again and again about their glories, then it becomes a ongoing memory in the heart, in the mind, and in the consciousness. And we need this. Because there may be in our lifetime, there will be times where we cannot be so active outside anymore. We want to go inside. And one day, we all will be in that situation where we have to leave this body. And at that time, I want to remember my sweet Lord and my sweet Goddess. I want to connect with them. And now preparing it. So then Baba is asking the question, how is it that he is asking for Parama Ananda Pai, for that high supreme bliss? But here, he says, the blessed author does not say he wants to attain the happiness for himself. He says he wishes to sing the glories of Radha Mohan. The divine pair, Sri Radha Mohan, attain paramount bliss when their glories are being sung. They also have a happiness when they hear songs and they give blessings. It's not that they are not... Uh, reacting you know like when we for example have our happy birthday songs and you know i always find it a very uh, astonishing moment when so many people sing for example happy birthday and my heart is melting because i i feel their love and so radha mohan's heart is also melting when we are singing and they feel our love and when their hearts are melting then my heart again is also melting more and it becomes rag and anurag, an exchange of feelings. And this will be more and more intensified by our, you know, collected <laughs> mercy points. And also, not only that, we are not collecting them like in a game or so, but we like to do it now. At one point, it's not a must or I have to. No, I don't want to do anything else. And even Sri Hari leaves his own abode to reside where his pastimes are being glorified. That is one quote from Padma Purana. O oh, Narada, I don't reside in Vaikuntha, nor in the hearts of the yogis, but wherever my devotees sing my glories, 
There I reside. That is Krishna's promise and this is his uh, confirmation. I am with you when you sing my songs, when you, you know, pray to me, when you love uh, to hear about me. I am with you. And what to speak about Spamini? She is even more merciful and more compassionate. Jai Radhe Kishori Dasi. May I share one about this point? Please. Thank you. This morning, actually, in Japan Sangha, and with Yananda Maharaj, we also shared similar things. Because, wow. because name and themselves are same. And we need mercy from them. That's why we need to go darshan to appear to make them happy. Then, mm -hmm. if we forget them, but they remember us, at least we appear then more remember. Means, if we chant up their name, their name and themselves is the same. If we chant always their name, we always get darshan, we always protect by them. This, this morning, we shared with Japanese sweet devotees. Mm -hmm. are the, it's very... Thank you for sharing. Yes, it is true, right? We hear it and we feel it. And now comes another quote that I want to squeeze in because I always have to look at the time. But I'm good in the time today. So, the purport of this is, the meaning of this, that through bhakti, which is the very form of service to the Supreme Lord, the Lord himself becomes the very form of happiness within the heart of the devotee. Think about it. Bhakti is the service we do. But Krishna himself and Swamini herself become the very form of happiness within the heart of the devotee. This experience is very strong. So they are this happiness. And they become this happiness in our hearts. And it's increasing and it's increasing and it's increasing. And like yesterday, Gurudev, I was feeling when, when you were sharing this about... Uh, uh, Mahaprabhu, how Radha and Krishna, Radha Mohan are meeting in him, then I also feel that when I heard the sentence that Mahabhav is that bliss, is that divine love and the, uh, the, the mandris can experience it because they are also completely infused with that Mahabhav because they are serving Mahabhav. So that is, it is the same for Krishna and for Srimati Radhika. They come in our hearts. They themselves, when we, they hear us and they feel us and they feel our desires, they come in our hearts and they make them, make our hearts ready for the service, for their service. Up to that degree when the hearts are ready. Mm -hmm. And one thing more, so actually Krishna and Radha Krishna is the same, but it's up to our consciousness, our position. Actually, mm. Radha and Moha never separate. Mm. But if we are Krishna Bhakta, then we see only Krishna. But if we are uh, Radha Dasi, we always see Radha with Moha. That's why if we see, we see Krishna, but it's up to our consciousness. It's up to our relationship. It's up to our desire. It's, we have our desire rather kindly up here. She, she, she never live with any living entity. Sorry. <laughs> That's true. Yes, I feel how inspired you are, Kishori. It is uh, like coming out of your heart, out of your mouth. You are like a fountain of inspiration. Thank you. Oh, you teach me now. You 
You infuse me really. It's not my word really. Thank you. <laughs> so they are the ones that are coming. They are hearing us and they are coming. And as we also know, Krishna is giving us the body, the intelligence, you know, how to come to him. And Srimati Radhika is giving us the bhava body, how to come to her, the feelings, the emotions, and the mood. Because Krishna is sending us to Swamini to come in our normal position. <laughs> that Prabhupada is saying in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. When he sees that we are ready and we are not so much ping-pong anymore, he will send us to the pleasure potency, pleasure-giving potency. That is our Shimati Radhika. And then from that point on, we can uh, slowly and surely become infused with that feelings of service to Shimati Radhika by the mercy of our Gurudev, who is also a Dasi of Shimati Radhika. Jai Radhe! Anybody would like to share on this there? You great souls, give us some of your mercy. <laughs> so, also Baba makes another point to the end of this purport that the uh, paramount bliss that is coming from that, if we are on the level of rasa, on the level of taste for divine service, then that bliss is only used to serve more. It's not any selfish motive behind that. Because Radha and Mohan, once they have, you know, taken seed in our hearts, and we do the Yugala Seva, then there's nothing else anymore. It's just like serving them more and more and more, becoming a Darcy, first become maybe servant of God, then, you know, God will send us to his divine pleasure-giving potency. And from that point on, we are the servants of love only. And like Kishori said so nicely, this love of Radha Mohan, they are always together. They are not separated. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is walking, He's always walking in that love and he wants to experience that divine love himself. Krishna himself wants to experience that and he becomes Srimati Radhika. Good, if yesterday we were reading from Chaitanya Chaitamrita, one very nice quote of Srila Prabhupada, where he says, we have to serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the way that he wants to remember that he is, you know, in Radhika, he wants to be in Radhika's feelings, and that is our service. This is the meaning that Chaitanya means consciousness. We have to be conscious with the feeling mm. of feeling that Krishna wants to take the shelter, mood of Pratika, follow that mood, so Krishna become Radha. Krishna become Radha. Naam Ramni and na, you, na, are not, you are Raman. Raman Ramani is exchanged so much, eh? that they forget who is Raman, who is Ramani. In Kattan, Kattan, Amrita. Raman is telling, then Mahaprabhu stopped the mouth. So this happened when Mahaprabhu, Krishna became Radhika. And then Radhika has to be Krishna to give that love to Radha, Radha Rani, who is Krishna? This is Shaita. They are not together, Radha Krishna. Then they cannot show it. They feel Viraha because the, the Radha is thinking that Krishna is not here with me. And she is crying, Mahaprabhu, madness. This madness missing, Radha is missing to Krishna. 
That is Adharya. Adharya means it was not possible before, but it is happening now. That uh, Radha becomes Krishna, Krishna becomes Radha in Chaitanya. And Chaitanya means Radha. Radha bound, no Radha Krishna bound. Show me any. Uh, no, it was always that he wants to experience Radhabhav. And Prabhupada says, we have yes. to serve like Lalita. Experience is one thing and living is other things. Not thing, experience. Living in Radhabhav. Yes, living, living in that. That's even a higher level. <laughs> Chaitanya is not separate, he is a Radha. Yes. Now become Radha there. That is Chaitanya. Chaitanya means consciousness. He is Mahabhav. Mahabhav. Not he has Mahabhav. He no, is, is Mahabhav. He is Mahabhav. This is the difference. Yeah. He, no, others has Mahabhav. <clears throat> but Radhika is Mahabhav. That this morning we share so nice here. This is this makes the no? yeah. Gopika and um, Radhika <coughs> is Mahabha. and this is Krishna is become Mahabha. That's one. This is Chaitanya. This is Chaitanya. That Krishna he himself become in Gananga Radhika. So always trying for Krishna. Show me any time he's trying for Radha Rani like Krishna. Then why you say Krishna? Is a It means we are not conscious to see that. So how we will understand Chaitanya? And that is Adharya, a special gift must be. This is a special This is a special gift what never happened before. Jai Ho, Gurudev. Krishna is so naughty, he cannot stay in one mood. He changed mood immediately. He ran away immediately. But when he becomes Radhika, we don't want to change it. That is the special mercy comes to him in the form of Chaitanya. Mm -hmm. Dora. Dora. Give me this realization, and from that time, I'm so relaxed only I want to sleep. I have nothing to work now. No physically, no mentally. Total, my all four are set, relaxed. Wow. Relaxation will come, you don't need to do anything. You see, I become laughter pleasure. <laughs> I'm sleeping. We wake up too, Gopika also come that time, but we read and sleep. <laughs> All three are sleeping after five flash. <laughs> wow, what a nice uh, sleeping pill team you are. Tra transcendental divine sleep in the feelings. We cannot stand, we cannot sit like this. Yeah, it's like a heavy, heavy, what is it? So heavy divine. Divine. Honey wine. Yeah, honey wine. Wow. So nice to hear your happiness. Also, your happiness is our happiness. So we are happy when Good you share it. 
cannot i am not we are sleeping like a 12 hours or something before i sleep on the four hours not 12 hours four hours in the afternoon time evening i sleep for night <laughs> you're always in samadhi good if you're not sleeping you're always with them serving i want but uh, the rabbi comes make me bad he is a two days is a happy life he gives so an essence clear realization of our dharma yes so us real realization of the real chaitanya my god like to be Yes. Yes. I, I, I like Danny Hart. <laughs> She's also coming. Gopika is special. She is even leaving uh, her kids and Gopinath. She just come there to have your exchange, Gurudev, in the night. Come, no, Gora is, is like this. He wow. Subscribe to others. Who will be here? <laughs> wow. Morning time, three, four o'clock will be there. This is the best time. Peace, peace is here in the Dao. No voice, nothing. No uh, noise, not no voice, no noise. and only little wind and we sit here and reading la pushmanjali three days now we are on verse 85 <laughs> we, okay. we cannot continue <laughs> again and again 85 and we we find more topics every day and ananda das baba ji he is explaining so many secrets and gurudev is open this This is too much. <laughs> This time is, is. You become sleepless, Gora. You become sleepless. Yeah, in one hand. It's a very good sign. You get so much mercy there. Really, really. This morning time is is wow. I cannot explain. Gopika <laughs> always coming. <laughs> It's dark outside, and then open door, and we share so nice. It's a it's a beautiful atmosphere, really. <laughs> Guru Dev is it's really relaxed, and all these beautiful topics about Mahabhar and Chaitanya, how merciful he is. He not only experienced this for himself, this Mahabharat. He make all soul of this age qualified to get also Mahabharat. It's explained, na Guru. It another that Swamiji explained this just in these words. He, so then we see he is really Mahabharat because he is so merciful that cannot. This is only possible uh, in the love of Radhika. So she is sharing through him her Mahabha through us. This is through the souls. He, he, she make us qualified, and it is the Mahamanta secretly. What is qualifying the souls of this age to get this Mahabha? Yeah. Yeah. And surprising one thing more comes to me that we are Radha Bhakta, not Krishna Bhakta. No, right? But in this, you see, this Krishna is so naughty; he becomes Radha, and. And he want to be that is Radha, so we are indirectly worshiping Krishna. 
Not Radha. Very but naughty. Krishna, Radha. Krishna become Radha. But really, Radha. Krishna become Radha. This Krishna become Radha. So this Radha is also Krishna. <laughs> Krishna. And Radha Rani has to become Krishna because how to give love to Krishna Radhika. She has, <laughs> has to be Krishna. So what is pastime in Vilakusa Manjali where you see Radha Rani, this is Krishna and what is Krishna? There is a Radha Rani. Different, different power. So it's not that we are not believe the Krishna. Krishna is not difficult here. Is an actually one time he go enter, then he never leaves. But the beauty of Krishna is that he wants to become Radhika. And he wants to give that love of Radhika what she is doing. That is a very This is so amazing, yes. Aura Sundara, he is eating. I hope. I think man. he burn out too. I don't know what to do now. I only can uh, <clears throat> tell you that it's, it's good to sleep with Sturdis here. <laughs> man, he opened the, the channels. Some, some miracle happened. And uh, in this case, we, we understand really this, we have to read again and again, but this to understand that some are getting Mahabhav, but only one is Mahabhav. And in that moment, Chaitanya came, then Krishna not get Mahabhav from Radhika. No, he became Mahabhav. This is the diff this is the secret behind this. What I understand. Again, again, again. Please. Others, others have Mahabhav, like the Manjaris. They have Mahabhav, and but Radhika alone is Mahabhav. She is Mahabhav. There is no difference. No, I, I can, I have this or that. No, she is. And in that moment, Chaitanya, Krishna came as Chaitanya. She not give him Mahabhav. No, he, Krishna, became Mahabhav. That's the difference. Now, there is no more Krishna. There is Mahabhav. Yeah, oh, <laughs> okay. not, uh, he, he disappeared somehow. Crazy, make <laughs> <laughs> now Radhika has to become Krishna because Mahabhav alone is not working. <laughs> they become one. So that he can experience what is meaning of Mahabhav. And now he can distribute Mahabhav because he become Radhika. He become Ra Mahabhav. So in this case, he is, and then he can give this. And he give it to us in the form of the Mahamantra. He opened it. We have to experience this, this mercy. And this Gurudev giving this to us. In form of Mahamanta. <laughs> if you like, you have to go through this. Then you see, you see who want that, who is interested, they have this. Who is not interested, they have not. 
Thank you, my God. This is amazing. Thank you for sharing this. And we are in a small group. See, the essential things, they come in small groups. Thank you, my God. It's so hard touching. We have to go deeply now with Maha Mantra Gurudev. More again, Maha Mantra will come new. We are mad of Gurudev. We cannot move that rather than How we are living. Maha Mantra is not the magnet. One secret I like to share. We share together with Gurudev today. Actually, the Maha Mantra is the transformation form from the Krishna into Mahabhav. Yeah. Start with Krishna and Radha. Transform to Radha and Mahabhav. Yeah, Only like Hare Radha. Krishna, Hare Krishna, and then Krishna Krishna became Hare Hare. Right? Yeah. And then, then Hare they Rama, are they are together. That, that, that's the point. This is before there was Hare, uh, Radhika and Krishna. But now they become Rama, Radha, Mahabhav. Radha, Mahabhav. <laughs> Hare, Rama. This is Hare is Radha and then together. Still, there is no more left over from Krishna, right to it. <laughs> Krishna is it. He became also Mahabhav, Rata Mahabhav, Rama. Yeah. Yeah. My God. So now, this is the transformation formula of Krishna come to Mahabhav. No, they are together. Rama. This is the beauty of Mahamantra. That is not in Radhesham, Radhesham. No, 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 Radhesham. This, this really... is the beauty of Mahamantra. Set to understand, then, then we will say, become part of this Mahabharata. <clears throat> Manjari get get this Mahabhav. Yeah. They not become Mahabhav, but they get it. They serve Mahabhav also. By the Sundari get it. Wow, thank you for sharing. It was really uh, Deep stuff, I would say. Very deep. Oh, we have to yes. now we chant with another feeling. Another feeling come. Yana. Another decoration. Aja, aja, aja. Swamini opened many doors. Aja. In, in, uh, 